5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. The video you're watching is the launch of the Rosetta spacecraft in 2004. The spacecraft is now on a 10-year journey to catch up with Comet 67P. Ten years prior to that, in 1994, the design of the Rosetta spacecraft began, and this is the technology that was available then. Although this technology is tremendously outdated by modern standards, Rosetta is still capable of performing the experiments that will help us unlock the secrets of the solar system. But why has the Rosetta spacecraft taken 10 years to reach Comet 67P? Uh, it takes so long to catch up with the comet because you have to match the orbital speed of the comet. And to do that you have to go around the Sun several times and also uh, use swing-bys of planets like the Earth and Mars. Uh, on the way, as well as imaging the planets, we can look at asteroids and test the instruments and the operations of the spacecraft to check that everything is working before we reach the comet. Uh, at asteroid Lutetia, we didn't find any outgassing from the asteroid, but the instruments were so sensitive that they detected an outgassing from the spacecraft as it rotated, as it flew past. It is a mission of challenges. We've already been through several hurdles already, and um, to some extent we're very pleased to have, have come over them. So yes, I mean, there's, there's the wake up on the 20th, then we have to ultimately start switching our own instruments on, see if they still work. Uh, we then have to look at the comet, see if it's possible even to land at all. Then we've got to get down on the ground. Uh, then we've got to find out if our instruments have survived it to the ground. And then we've got to start uh, acquiring the data. So uh, there's lots of times when one's heart could be beating quite quickly, I think. Because Rosetta's long journey took it so far from the sun, it actually had to enter hibernation for two and a half years to preserve its power. In January of 2014, Rosetta reawakened to continue its adventure. So here's the Rosetta Orbiter. It has 11 instruments on board, and Imperial College is heavily involved in the plasma experiment. As the comet gets closer to the Sun, uh, the uh, orbiter, which is uh, following the comet, will witness the formation of an envelope of gas around the comet called coma, from Greek kome, hair, which refers to the long tail that flows like long hair in the wind. The envelope of gas can be ionized under solar radiation, forming a plasma made of electrons and ions. We cannot make those observations from the Earth. We need to go in situ to probe natural plasma. And the Rosetta Orbiter offers us this unique opportunity. What this uh, instrument does is um, it will be involved with a campaign where solid samples are drilled out of the surface of the comet delivered into the spacecraft and then they'll be put into an oven connected to this instrument and this will tell us what the comet is made out of. If the comet landing is successful in November of 2014, Rosetta has the potential to answer some of the most basic questions about our solar system.